good day everyone welcome it's been a long time since my last upload yes i've been busy but yeah i'm here again so in this video we'll be talking about the distance between two points yeah we'll be talking about the distance formula so let's see so if we are given points on the cartesian plane and we are asked to like determine the distance between them like maybe here in this Cartesian plane, we are given point V and point U. What is the distance between them? Okay, since they are aligned horizontally, we can simply count the number of units between them. So we can base it from the x-axis. So since this is negative 4 and negative 3, this is one unit. Okay, so... There are how many units from point V to point U? Let's count. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the distance between point V and point U is 5 units. Okay? So same is through when there are points that are aligned vertically. So let's say we have here point L and point X. So what is the distance between them? We can simply count. So that is one unit. There are two and three. So three units in between points L and X. Now, the question is, what if we are asked to solve or determine the distance from point L to point U? Like these points here. Okay? So they are not aligned horizontally or vertically what could be the answer okay so we have here point e and point v as well what is the distance between them is it two so we cannot really count that's why we have the distance formula okay so this formula is used to find the distance between any given points. So let's say we have your point A and point B and you're asked to determine the distance. You can actually simply substitute the coordinates of the points in the formula. Seems complicated? Okay, tingnan natin kung paano nabuo yung formula na to. Well, actually the formula is familiar. Can you remember this one? Well, actually it looks like the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so let's see how. Paano naging Pythagorean yan? If we are going to draw a line between these given two points, pwede tayo makabuo dito ng right triangle. So we can have it that way. So that is a right triangle. And you see, if we are given the lengths of, you know, the legs of the right triangle, we can determine the length of the hypotenuse, right? Okay, so this is the hypotenuse. Okay, so we know that this leg measures two units. Okay, we can count that. And this leg measures one unit. Okay, now the Pythagorean formula looks like this. This is just a representation, but this is actually the length. I mean, the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. So the hypotenuse here is uh, unknown. We can just do that. The measure of one leg is two units, so we can square that one. Plus, the measure of the other leg is one unit, one squared are you getting it and so from that we can uh, get the length of the hypotenuse so two squared is um four sorry and one squared is one so that is um a squared is equal to four plus one is five but what we need is the length of the hypotenuse we don't need a squared we need a so we take the square root of both, and so the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 5, or that is approximately 2 point something. 
Okay, bahala ka ng mag-calculator dyan. Okay, so that is how this formula is um, derived. Okay, so as you can see, there is the square root of the sum of the squares. Okay, so let's try some examples. Okay, use the distance formula to find the distance between the given points. So we already solved this using the Pythagorean on the previous slide, and the answer here is um, square root of 5. You see, the formula makes it convenient for us to get the distance from any given points. We don't need to plot it and like make a right triangle. We are just going to substitute the coordinates on the formula. So yeah, pretty easy. Okay, so this is the distance formula. And how do we substitute the coordinates? Okay, so first we assign the x's and the y's. How? Okay, we just get any we just get any ordered pair and just assign here x sub 1 and y sub 1. And the other one we assign here x sub 2, sorry. <laughs> x sub 2 and y sub 2. You see if this is x sub 1, its partner should be y sub 1, okay? x sub 1 and y sub 2 cannot be partnered together in one ordered pair. You will have a wrong answer later. So they should be partner. So our x sub 1 here is negative 6, our y sub 1 is 0, x sub 2 is negative 4, and y sub 2 is negative 1. Okay, so now we know what to substitute here. Let's substitute it. <laughs> So the distance from point E to point V. Okay, so X sub 2, what is X sub 2? It's negative 4. Minus, what is X sub 1? X sub 1 here is negative 6. Don't forget to put a parenthesis. That is squared plus Y squared is negative 1. Minus y sub 1, y sub 1 is 0, you can just input 0, and don't forget the squared. Are you following? <laughs> okay, so now we simplify. So negative 4 minus negative 6. So this is negative times negative, it will become positive. Now positive 6 minus 4, that is positive 2 squared plus negative 1 minus 0, that is actually negative 1 squared. And so if we simplify further, this will be 2 squared is 4, negative 1 squared is positive 1, so plus 1. And so the final answer is a square root of 5 units. Okay, so you can actually input this in your calculator and press equals and Tingnan mo kung ano yung equivalent niya in decimal form. So this is approximately 2 point something. Okay, so that is how we are going to use the distance formula in determining the distance between two points. So I hope you're following. Okay, let's have one more example. You have your point P and point Q. So the distance from point P to point Q is equal to square root of, okay, for you not to forget the formula, this is how you're going to do it. X is here, subtract the two X's, X sub 2 minus X sub 1 squared, plus the Y's, the difference of the Y's squared, okay, so don't forget a formula. Okay, so we can name this x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So our x sub 2 is 9 minus x sub 1 is 4 squared plus y sub 2 here is 15 minus y sub 1 is 3. So don't forget a squared. Can we interchange, like, can we have this as our x sub 1, y sub 1? Yes, we can. They can actually interchange. 
as long as you substitute properly. They will have the same answer. Okay, so 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144. 25 plus 144 is uh, 169. All right. And the square root of 169 is 13. I guess. Yeah, 13 units. Okay. So that is how to, you know, determine the distance between any given two points. If you think this video helped you understand the distance formula, please subscribe down below. Okay, so that is for today. See you on the next video. Bye.